Hi everybody, welcome back to our budding society here in Rebuild 3, Gangs of Debtsville. Um, which is episode number 3 as well, right? Did I mention that? Or did I mention Rebuild 3? I mentioned the 3 somewhere, I forgot which one it was. Either way, we're doing pretty good over here so far, starting up early on. Um, we're still doing some progress, but again, as you can see, our food is at 24, so we definitely need a bigger income of food. I uh, Hopefully we acquired this farm pretty soon so we can have this guy farm over here more continuously. And we'll probably have my main character also farm on the smaller one meanwhile. Um, we have fighting zombies, 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 and you're farming and you're scouting. And we have Gustav over here being a dick somewhere off in the wasteland. So we'll continue going forward. And you're done scouting? Excellent. That's a big um, zombie concentration over here in this hospital. Kind of. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so, we have an engineer. He's been doing nothing but scouting for us because what we're trying to do is get this lab under control. We could put him there and then he could start teaching or at least learning a bunch of amazing things for us. But again, until that happens, he's kind of more of a scout here meanwhile. So... We're going to continue using them as so, and I guess we'll probably scout out this area down here. It doesn't seem too useful, but actually, no, no, we're about to reclaim this area, so that should open up because of that. Let's have you scout this gas station instead. Let's go forward here. Everybody's done killing zombies. Good to see. Um, we want this lab cleared up as well. Any zombies here? Nope. So you, my friend, come over here and kill one zombie from that lab so we can try to reclaim. It's going to take a while because, again, we have... We are, our builders are actually pretty low leveled right now, which is a problem. We only have one. She's not even a builder, she's my main character, so she, she could do everything, but she doesn't do it well. So, right now, that's kind of slowing us down a little bit, unfortunately. Um, let's see here. Fighters are guarding. Not really what I want you doing at this point, so you're fighting, let's have you... Let's have Diane Moon deal with this zombie... ...small horde here. Can you handle this one, Hayabusa, by yourself? Ten zombies and you zero danger? Perfect. Go ahead and do it. And we'll continue going forward. Ah! Yellow over here. Progress report! There are seven of us now, and our little chunk of Falcon's Nest is starting to be downright livable. It's almost big enough that we're going to need a proper government to run things soon. That's going to be for the government system, which is going to be coming up after more... Probably three more buildings, I would imagine. Either way, farm is here now. Let's see. So let's check this out. Right now, we're actually... We actually have an income of food coming in. 0.8 per day. That is because we've got the big farm, but that's because it's being untended. But let's see what happens when we throw him over here instead. We are now at 0 .08. 0 0.08 per day. That's not right. It should be going up because the big farm should be better for us. What if we were to put you over here for now? 3.5 per day. Uh huh. That's relatively interesting. Yeah, I guess we could have two farmers there. Out of curiosity. Just guard over here. Let's see what happens if you're not farming. Negative one per day. And what happens if I put my... My leader down here to farm instead? 1.8. So yeah, we would need both of them for sure, huh? Well, let's move you over here. You farm this area. This will bring us in, you know, almost one per day. I don't want to use her for farming right now because uh, we need more people still doing things. And sh right now, she's kind of like a good scavenger. And I want to start scavenging a few areas as well for some more extra, uh, hopefully, equipment. That's what I'm really looking for right now. So, let's move you and start having you scout, or at least scavenge. Um, police station would be a pretty good place to find some weapons, hopefully. So, yeah, scavenge that out. You need to start actually reclaiming areas to bring us to the lab. So, let's bring you over to... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess the hospital would be pretty ideal. So reclaim the hospital. Uh, let's see. Fighters are fighting, fighting, and you're fighting. And then you are scouting. Or you're done scouting. Come and scout out in this area here. And that's pretty much it for now, I'm going to say. Once our fighters are done, we'll move them over here and probably take care of this um, bigger concentration of zombies. And everybody else go forward for now. Oh boy. That's a lot of actions there. Zombies killed, zombies killed, zombies killed. Find ammunition. We're up to nine now. Good. And survivor spotted down over here. All right. And by the way, you're level four now. So you've gone up from 0.8 to one per day now. So hey, you're bringing in a surplus. It's a little bit, not too much, but it's something. Uh, Gustav's still hanging over here by the Mega Mall. And you're done scavenging completely, huh? Uh, let's have you scavenge where now? I guess we'll scavenge this area out over here too. And fighters are ready to go. Let's have you... Oh, there's another... Zed Horde over here. You should be able to do this by yourself, I would imagine. No. Nine mass zombies, yellow danger. That's actually 10% danger, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's send you as well. How about now? 
3%, that's pretty good. And then Diane, you come over here and kill 12 zombies on your own. That's good. Alright, so you guys keep this over here secure. You're over here scavenging, you're farming, you're reclaiming. You're gonna come over here and scout down this way. Don't worry, man. Soon enough, we'll get you into that lab and you can start doing some policy things for us or some research for us. Very, very good. If you go out in the woods today, you might get, well, you might get poison ivy rash, but Duke managed to avoid that. He did come back with a huge sock of blueberries, though. The thing is, we don't know what kind of berries they are and whether they'd be good to eat. What should we do with them? Um, what color are they? Blueberries. I'm not really great. <laughs> and by great, I mean I have no fucking clue. How to tell a berry, a poisonous berry from a non-poisonous berry. I was never in the Boy Scouts. I have no IQ for surviving in the wilderness. So if I ever get lost out there, I'm just fucked. I'd probably eat like the first mushroom I see and get myself killed by poison or something. But blueberries normally, if I have to go by other video game knowledge, I'm really relying on other video games right now to figure this out. In Neil Scavenger, blueberries or blackberries were fine. Red ones were... I think in the middle they could either be good or bad sometimes, and then the yellow ones were the poisonous ones for sure. I think that's how it worked. So blue, I think, is good. Oh, I could reach this in first with engineering. We have our engineer, right? Butch, our best engineer, thought we'd seen them on a book of local species ones. Sure enough, he managed to find a reference. These blueberries are poisonous! Oh, I'm so glad I just tested them out before I ate them. Oh, good God almighty. <laughs> Hooey! Um, why the fuck would I eat the poisonous blueberries still? No, throw them out! We chucked them. Not worth risking our lives for a tasty snack. Oh, good god. I'm so glad. Is that you, Butch? You're a Butch, right? Yeah. So glad I made him an engineer. Hooey! I was gonna eat those, and then who knows what could have happened to us. Alrighty, so, crisis averted. Keep going forward. Oh, good god. Good god. Alrighty. Zombies killed. Spood fodded. I literally just said spood fodded. Don't question the way I speak sometimes, okay? Found materials. Excellent. Alrighty, so you're still scavenging. Good. Um we're almost there, buddy. We're almost there. Let's have you scout down on the eh, scout over here for now, I guess. No, you can't scout there, huh? It's already been scouted. Scout the church then. Alright, farming, you are over here. Scavenging, you're over here fighting zombies. How's my happiness over here? 65. We're losing happiness now per day. Yeah, I know. We kind of need a church for some, you know, holy enlightenment. Probably need a few days off. People have been working nonstop as well, but, you know, I'm not going to worry about happiness right now. Maybe later. That's what I always say, and then later on it bites me in the ass. Uh, you have to start clearing out some zombies over here because they're starting to repopulate over here, and we need to keep this cleared so we can take over that laboratory. Let's go forward. Alrighty. Done with that area, perfect. Zombies killed, found more materials, more food, more materials as well. You are going to... Yeah, ba -ba 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 -ba. where do I want to send you? Eh, clear out this little area, just to keep us a little bit zombie free. And we're done with the scavenging and done with the fighting as well. Found more food, survivors spotted in the church, and zombies killed. Okay, um, at this point... Do we want to scavenge some more now that we have positive food coming in? I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to have her help this guy with the reclaiming of the area so it kind of goes by a bit faster. So once he's done, we'll move her and Bob the Builder over here, reclaim that, and then we'll jump to the laboratory. I think that works out pretty good. Now, let's see here. Um, you're going to come over here and scout. Oh, there's a school. I could really, I really want a school because that'll let me change classes for some of our people as well. That's another school, too. That's actually a little bit closer to ours, so let's have you... Oh, it's already been scouted, though. Yeah, so just scout this one instead. Now, you're over here farming. You're freed up, but you're going to be coming and helping him building. Now, in terms of fighting, how do we want to play this out? Ah, ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll do... Clear out this area. Only one zombie. Yeah, sure, whatever. Go down there. How's the Mega Mall looking in terms of zombies now? Six zombies. You should be able to take care of it by yourself. All good. And you're fine. Keep going forward. The Bob the Builder's done. Oh no, farm infestation. Our entire corn crop is ruined. Other vegetables seem to be doing okay, but the corn ears just wither and turn brown, and they're riddled with little holes like something's been eating at them. I suspect some kind of bug is doing this, but we need to do some research to find out. In the meantime, our crops will be producing as well for a while. Farms produce less food for the next seven days. That's really bad. We need to get that dude into the research lab to actually keep that from happening. 
So per day we're going to be losing 2 food, meaning 7 times 2, 14. We're about to lose 14 food straight up. Not happy about it. Bob the Builder, you come over here and reclaim this area along with you. How long is this going to take, guys? Three days. That's a little bit better than five than it was before, so that's good. Uh, you're scouting, you're fighting, you're fighting, and you're done over here. Let's have you, um... Well... You're not a farmer, but... You can lower down the, the hit they're going to take by one. I don't need you fighting right now, too, I don't think, immediately. So yeah, just farm here meanwhile, and we'll continue going forward. Here's our reclaiming. That's going pretty good. You're done fighting. Let's have you scout down. Ooh, a lot of farmland down here, too. Let's have you scout this field. And then you, my friend, are going to come down and... Uh, let's see what's happening here. Six zombies. Yeah, I might as well clear that area out. All right. Zombies killed in the mall. And anything else? No. That's been cleared up as well. Let's send you down. Well, I don't need you all three in or two in there. Come and kill these two zombies on this side. Go forward. Alrighty. Let's stop here for a moment. Yeah, you're done scouting already. You're turning into the best scout of all time here. Sure, scout out that big Illuminati tower. And let's see. You're fighting. Fight down over here. Nine zombies seems like a pretty big number. You're about to finish reclaiming that one. Perfect. The day laborers. There are three men at the gates asking for help. One of them is limping and holding a bloody rag to his neck, but he won't let us look at the wound. Oh, that's got bad knees written all over it. They want to patch him up with some of our medicine and stay the night. In exchange, they'll teach us a few things about construction. They are quiet, honest looking men. I suspect the one with the wound has been bitten. Should we help them? Oh boy, oh boy. I could really, I would really enjoy getting like, you know, a boost to our building just because we're actually pretty bad at it right now. So that could be pretty helpful, but at the same time, if this guy turns zombie and he bites somebody, that could be also pretty bad as well. I'll let them stay the night. Maybe we could put him in some sort of, like, you know, quarantine area? We'll see. Uh, the two healthy ones, Rory and Diego, gave us welcome advice on putting up basic buildings the old-fashioned way without modern power tools. We should be able to build bars, churches, workshops, and laboratories now. During the night, I woke to screams and gunfire as their friend had quietly died and then returned and attacked them. Butch put him down before anyone was hurt, but it cost us valuable ammunition. The remaining two left at dawn without a word. So, we lost ammunition, which is pretty bad. Really bad, as a matter of fact, because I don't think we have any melee weapons right now. So, that's going to be pretty bad for our fighting as zombies, more than likely. And we also lost five medicine from the patch up. But we did learn how to, um, you know, build bars, churches, and workshops and laboratories. So, that'd be pretty good. Alrighty. So, speaking of um, building things, we haven't really discussed that. I could break down useless buildings, like, for instance, I could break down the office and turn it into a good building. Um, but we need builders for that, and right now, our builders aren't really great, and we're trying to get that laboratory. So I think after laboratory, you probably destroy a few useless buildings and turn them into something pretty decent as well. So we'll keep an eye out for that for sure. Now, as you can see over here, my... What happened here? Jamal Hayabusa is down to four. That's because his gun's out of... We have no more ammunition. Oh, no, no, no. That's no good. Uh, give him a hand. So we can't use that gun anymore because obviously no more, um, <laughs> ammunition. We need to find... What is it that we need for that? Is it over here? The workshop? Yeah, we need to get a workshop for that. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Well, you're continuing scouting now. You're farming, you're farming. How's our food looking at now? Still a negative one because of the infestation. Oh... Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's keep going forward. So, that's been reclaimed as well. All we need is that one, which is obviously has zombies in it, of course. How many zombies? Probably not many. One zombie? You guys could do that by yourself, I would imagine. Keep going forward. Yeah, you got it. Gustav's back. Fighting is done. Scouting is done. Stop right here. Okay. Um, I'll have you scout one more time because we still need to reclaim that anyway. So, come down and scout the... Drive-in, apparently. You're farming. You're farming. 
And let's see, zombies here are up to one zombie, not a big deal. Big farm over there. Ten zombies. A little bit scarier. Definitely. Let's see about moving you down here. Fight one zombie barehanded. You can fight this one, you're farming. And then you guys come over and... Oh, you're done with the zombies, so come over here and reclaim this building. Which is going to be the lab. And we're almost there, man. I can almost taste it. Keep going forward. Zombies killed. Oh! Zombies are amassing at our walls. They'll attack the weakest and adjacent buildings soon. The danger icon at the bottom left shows how bad it would be. Uh-oh. Uh, high danger level. Stop here for a second. That is down here, huh? Okay. 90% danger from the farm, because obviously we have some dude farming here. Yeah, uh, how soon are you gonna attack? Well, it doesn't really matter. We need to send everybody over here, too. Do some defensive duties for now. What happens if I were to attack you? 15 mass zombies now that we have no fighters or we have no ammunition. Yellow danger still, huh? Green. What is this now? 4% danger, huh? Um, you know what? Let's take care of it right now. Get it out of the way. I know we're going to have no food coming in. Oh, that's actually 4 per day. You know what? That's actually pretty bad. You come and hang out <laughs> and farm over here. How much food is this going to be? 3. Uh, we're still losing a lot of food. Either way, you cut it. I think the faster we get out of it, the better, then. How many days would this be? 1.5 days? Yeah, we might as well just risk it now and get it out of the way as soon as possible. Alright, so we'll take care of him now. Survivors arrives! We found a man not far from our gates where he'd be hiding from the zombies for days. We suggested our fort might be a bit safer than the garbage bin he was crouched inside when we found him. He seemed a little skeptical. So, we can invite him to stay as long as we have 50 happiness, which we do. Offer him five foot if he stays, uh, no, and tell him to leave. Let's invite him to stay. AJ Karat's going to put up his feet and stay a while, and why not? We humans have to stick together these days. We're social creatures is what we're designed to do. So we got a new dude, however, remember, there's one more mouth to feed. He is a scout, though, or a scavenger, so that could be pretty useful, I guess. We could have him start scavenging now, and you know what? We will. Let's have you scavenge over here for now. Seems relatively safe. Um, the Illuminati, Illuminati Tower is actually now lit up. That's a little bit scary. That means there's going to be a big zombie attack on the bank kind of soon. This over here is also in yellow, so that means more zombies are concentrating over here. We gotta be careful about that one. Now, uh, you're still over here reclaiming? Good, 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 good. Let's have you scout down this way here for now, then. And let's keep going forward, see what happens. Alright, so we're done with the Zed attack. You're done with the scouting. Excellent. And we're almost done here with the... Yeah, almost there. See if you can scout one more building for me before it's time to put you in the lab. And then... Fighters are going to come over and start doing... 11 zombies over here. How much of a threat is this to us? 1%? Ah, uh, you should be fine, Diane. Hayabusa! Let's have you come to Illuminati Tower. 17 zombies. Well, good God. Good thing we came here in time. Let's send uh, this guy to give you a hand, too, because that's a big of a problem. There you go. So you... Excuse me, you, sir? Nope, you're not doing that. You're going to be farming again. Our food is breaking even, and our happiness is going up for now. Okay? And, uh, yeah, you're fighting over here. And you're scavenging, you guys scavenging, and then as everything's fine, let's uh, get rid of some of these things and go forward. Alrighty, we got the lab in our control. Perfect. And we also have, apparently, now a government, more than likely. Now that we've grown big enough and the people feel safe inside the wall, some of the old problems are coming back. Survivors are getting to bicker among themselves, complaining about the quality of the food, demanding electricity and hot water and civil rights. It's time we built a city hall and set up a government, something better than the old pre-infection ones, a system that actually works. A city hall has been added to the list of buildings we can construct. Alrighty, so we're going to have to construct and actually set up policies for everything else so that we keep our happiness high and whatnot. So, I am thinking this right here is the perfect time to call an episode now that we have the lab. We're going to put um, Dude over here next episode, and we'll probably... You know what? I'll do that off camera. I'm going to... I need to go over the research policies again and see which ones are the good ones. But when I come back next episode, I'll show you which one I'm doing just in case you want to see what I'm choosing to research over here. And you can yell at me if it's the wrong one, but, you know, so be it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like, leave comments as well, and leave tips. They actually help me out a lot, especially if you are know what you're doing with this game. Although I think I'm doing relatively okay. I think most of my memory from the last run is coming back and we're progressing pretty well for the most part. I'll catch you guys next time.